How's it going, Zach? Ah, pretty well. Just oh, got finished playing some great. Crystal Bearers. Uh, Zach, we're just starting playing Crystal Bearers. Come on. Oh, yeah. This is some pre-recorded footage. That'd be <laughs> ridiculous for a gameplay yeah, channel to do that. I'm playing this right now. Uh, I'm just such a pro editor <laughs> that, that I can like, speed acting. up the timeline as we're playing. It's amazing. Uh -huh. You're editing it live. It's very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have four different hands to do it, but no, it was worth it. All those bionic arms. <laughs> to get those hands implanted. Uh, so. Do you remember uh, what we're, we're actually in... doing? Uh, of course, Zach. We uh -huh. played, uh beach ball with girls in bikinis and this is after that where we're in a hedge maze the yeah. queen's garden as I like to call it as many of us like to call it mm -hmm. but before we leave this queen's garden um, there's a few mini games we can participate in which are the best oh. thing ever Oh man, I was really worried we weren't going to be able to participate in any mini games. So I was I guess sitting here, I was thinking we're just going to walk around the garden and not <laughs> play some very convoluted <laughs> garden decorating sim. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it has physics and everything. Like, wow. It's beautiful, Zach. Yeah. You know, I Have tried you to ever thought about <laughs> doing this for a living? Wait, what? Uh, have you ever thought about doing this professionally? Um, not really, no. Mm -hmm. you know, YouTube channels treating you pretty well. Yeah. All that ad revenue yeah. money. You know, I might make <laughs> my own video about how to make a beautiful looking garden such as this. Yeah, mm. I'd definitely appreciate a guide for it. I, I like the simplicity of it. <laughs> <laughs> we have true gardening talent. Wow. Yeah, it's like those minimalist neon lights uh, exhibits you find in modern art museums, where it's literally just like a light on a wall. Man, mm -hmm. so impressive. Yeah, I know there's a modern art museum near here. They did a racism exhibit, and there was a painting, and it was white with a single black dot. And it was called, like, Isolation or something. <laughs> it spoke to me. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Confronted by racism every day, Zach. Can you believe it? I you know. know whether you're sad. black, white, or like a plant person, <laughs> plant doesn't person. matter. You yeah. know, I would have thought that plant people would have had like a moral objection to gardening because you know you're messing around with those plants' lives for your own you entertainment. For them, it's like fucking. Like they just <laughs> put a flower. They're like, oh yeah. <laughs> So, anyways, uh, now we're playing hide and seek with a bunch of plant people kids. Oh, okay. And there I are mean, great rewards for doing this, as you'll see. Uh, fun. The reward of being able to play the children. Uh, <laughs> I like how finding them was just tossing them. <laughs> I know, it gets even worse later. It's like, great. Get better at this game, bitch. <laughs> You found me. It's it's like they won't say uncle until you throw them physically across the room. You uh -huh. didn't find me. Ah, okay, you found me. <laughs> I'm invisible. Yeah, it does seem like they have a slight advantage hiding in a garden, though. Yeah. I mean, not to be racist or anything, but all plants mm -hmm. kind of look similar. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know if that's true. They look rather different. Oh. There's a wide variety of plants, Zach. Can no, you not, not tell the difference God. between them? Because there's like flowers and trees and bushes and all kinds of different plants. I don't think you should be stereotyping. Yeah, you're right. It's really awful of me. Mm hmm. Whoa! Yeah. You know, just, maybe just in time you can learn to be more accepting. <laughs> Did you see how I threw that kid off the balcony? That was pretty interesting. I, I, I did. I didn't <laughs> want to comment on it. I felt like you, did, you wouldn't want me to point it out. It might be like an accessory then if I just stood by and watched you presumably murder a plant child. 
Apparently he's okay. Didn't break any legs or anything. No, he looks okay. I mean, he wants to play again, so he seems alright. Mm -hmm. So, Logan, human on plant person mm -hmm. violence is really bad, but have you seen plant person on plant person violence? Man, even worse. It's not a hate crime, though. I, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Just imagining, like, a slight like, gust of wind blowing two plants into each other. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Uh, very stylish. <laughs> I like how he lets his hair plant come out of his helmet. Very stylish. Yeah, I, I do still need a Halloween costume, and I feel like people would be very passionate about, like, a slutty turnip costume. <laughs> <laughs> slutty turnip costume. <laughs> well, you can't just do a normal cosplay. You have to make it slutty. Like the turnips from... Super Mario 3, or whatever, that Peach throws sure. around. Oh, yeah. Man. But in, like, a G-string. Yeah. Wow, that, mm -hmm. that sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. It's my new plan. So Who in, are uh, you going to be for <laughs> Halloween, Zach? In case you don't remember what was happening, which you probably don't, because it's been a little bit of a while. Um, oh, come on. We are going to see Kais at the Royal Library, because... Mm -hmm. If you remember, we became a salesman for steam-powered uh, train engines recently, and Why we were do you trying keep to. Saying if I remember, Zach, I'm <laughs> keeping up to date on this constantly. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm having a little too much doubt in you here. It's kind of. Mm -hmm. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I take this very seriously. You may take this seriously, but these people don't take me robbing them very seriously. They don't. They seem very passive about it. Yeah. I think it's because, like, they know you have more power than them. <laughs> like, she's seen you throwing around children, and you just, like, walk up to the chest, and she's like, Please, mister, take whatever you want. <laughs> and you just kick it open and take, like, her s life savings of five coins. Yeah, do you think that's, like, their entire bank savings? It's like Probably. their bank. Just kick it open, take it all? I mean, to be fair, they probably shouldn't just keep it out in the open. Yeah. But, I don't know, maybe they assume people won't blatantly steal from them. You know, they're very trusting. I guess so. But that's where their fault lies. <laughs> <laughs> you are just taking all their newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way you can get newspapers in this game, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> Do you think you'd at least have the option to go to, like, a stand? Yeah, I mean... It's like you gotta fight for the backstory, though, you know? Mm-hmm. You gotta, you gotta show you really want it. <laughs> you gotta break all moral obligations to... Uh, <laughs> That's what it's backstory. all about. <laughs> it's the real thrill of reading the newspaper, I find. Yeah. It's when I see a random guy on the subway reading it and just snatch it from him. <laughs> I say, haha, look, backstory. Yeah. All this exposition you were trying to keep from me. Haha, <laughs> give it to me. I'm just kidding, Zach. People don't read newspapers anymore. No. I steal Kindles. <laughs> it's all about their internets and texting. Mm -hmm. Letters in this game are a bit like texting. Like, I don't know if you saw that last letter we got from Kais. Where it was, like, he FaceTimed us, but it was <laughs> in the past. Oh, yeah, that that one too. But the last, last one we got, where uh, he asked, were we there yet? Like, we're going to respond. Lyle never responds oh, to, anything, yeah. to anything. We don't. Mm -hmm. It's very rude. Yes. Maybe it's, like, special telepathic crystal powers. What are we doing here, Zach? Did you just hijack a train? Uh, no, this is the express train to the library. I just thought we'd have a nice look over this detailed environment. Oh, okay. I thought you were flying it for a second. I was very worried. <laughs> I mean... Luckily not we not that it. I don't trust your flying abilities. Luckily we can make it go a bit faster and rob people while we're at it. Because that's actually where a lot of the money in this game comes from. 
I mean, let's be honest. That's what public transportation is about. <laughs> Me too. Like, if, if you're going on the train, you're pretty much signing up to be robbed, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, probably shouldn't be carrying, like, three coins on you at a time. Yeah. So we finally made it. We did. Very excited. Is this a library? Yeah. Like, I know it says library, but I... Oh, there are books. It's just very... Yeah. Kind of fuzzy texture. It's, it's like a library-museum hybrid for some reason. Ooh. Yeah. And when you run, the Moogles get very upset. Mm-hmm. Well, you have to be quiet. True. Mm-hmm. And but they don't mind you robbing them. <laughs> robbing the museum. <laughs> They're like, just walk out with the money, though, okay? <laughs> oh, we can't do anything about it. He's a crystal bearer. <laughs> oh, which reminds me. Um, there is a thread for this LP. And uh, people voted, by which I mean one person voted, to change the uh -huh. name from crystal bearers to goat fuckers. So, um... <laughs> So I edited out all of uh, the points where people say crystal bearers with goat fuckers. So that, that should be the S most interesting sorry? about this game so far. Uh, c could, could you clarify, please, Zach? Can I clarify goat fuckers? Yeah, so one, one person, uh, you posted a poll <laughs> to ch change the name. Yeah, and one person voted for goat fuckers. <laughs> yes, he provided yeah. actually a uh, story for why. I can look it uh -huh. up if you want. I'd really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't that wasn't one of the you didn't have like pre-selected object options no. for people to choose from. It was just you know let them express their own creativity. Yeah, that was pure human originality there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. Um, uh, okay. <clears throat> Scene. You can do it. Sound it out. <laughs> Scene. Layla in a bar, surrounded by glasses, obviously drunk. You know that cruise ship that was attacked and lost power? Well, I flew that thing home with my own crystal powers. So you'd think they'd call me Layla, the ship savior, but no. Then there was this one crystal idol I recovered from the uke. So you'd think they called me they'd call me Lael the Treasure Tracker, but no. And and then there was a fire at the beach that I put out. So you'd think they'd call me Lael the Fireman, but no, you fuck one goat. End scene. Oh man, I've heard that joke before. Really? Yeah. About fucking goats? The goat fucking one, yes. So one other great thing you can do in this game is just besides fucking goats. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just wreck all the priceless artifacts in this museum here. Mm-hmm. Now I see you very clearly just standing up there. They're just watching in horror. <laughs> They're, They're like, pain. um, excuse me. <laughs> uh, could, could we help you? And you're just smashing everything against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you're not getting anything from it, though, are you? Um, No. Actually, you only lose stuff from doing this, as you'll see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. You're, you're a bit in debt now, Zach. Uh, yeah. I don't think robbing people on the subway is gonna cover that. Uh, maybe not. I'm no expert, but it that did look like 91,000. Ooh. Wow. You know what? To, to show my... Just utter rebellion. I'm gonna keep smashing this, though. That's what I do. Yeah. I could get the bill for my student loans. I go, what is this? <laughs> and I walk in, just start smashing all their stuff, and they're like, they'll be on your next bill. I'm like, I know. Okay. <laughs> it's and worth it. Up. Proving a point. <laughs> Luckily, there's a wealthy man that we can steal all his money from. Uh... To help cover our debts of a hundred. So, just... so the the point of this was to destroy priceless artifacts and then rob a wealthy patron. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
A any idea about the two women on the side with coins above their heads? Are they um, mesmerized? I, I think they just want his money is the idea. I didn't really oh, understand it. okay. But anyways, now we've covered all of our debt by robbing this wealthy man. Oh, well, I'm glad everything worked out. Yeah. I, I'm, I keep trying here because I didn't see that it already went to back to the normal score. But well, I mean, you want the money. Yeah. Hey, it's Kai. Get rich. Kais. Yells Ooh. in the library. This is a swift turn. From this time forward, refer to me as Colonel Kais. Huh. <laughs> you enlisted in the Royal Army? You're a Selkie. Hmm. A symbolic gesture of tribal unity. Apparently, the Lilties were thrilled to have me enlist. On top of that, thanks to your crystal idol, I'm wow. a girl. Good job, guys. I know. By golly, he's gonna. Just really hoping he starts his own like fast food restaurant chain. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Kais. Yes. Colonel Kais's fried chicken. No, oh, I go there. It's just Kais's face smiling. Thumbs <laughs> up. Maybe it's not fried chicken. It could be I'm the current people. But it does appear he's aligned with them. It does. What we need then is by golly's assistance on this matter. How do we go with him anyway? Did he try to push some job on you? I told him that I would introduce him to a crystal reactor alternative. I think I can hear your audio echoing a little bit, Zach. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I, I love hearing this, but I, I don't know about twice. Are you sure about this? Oh, well. Is it You're okay now? A royal officer here. Uh, I don't know. Hey, Lail. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I <laughs> just was trying to hear what Kais was saying, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't really read, so <laughs> subtitles, you know. It looked interesting, but... Yeah. What are those crystals? Huh. They say they preside over So, the these crystal the things? Form the principle of the world. Um... But it's just a myth. I... I don't ever... You don't ever see them floating in the sky like that. Again. Okay. And I, sure. Yeah. No special. idea what that thing floating in the sky is, because it doesn't come back into play later. But there are other crystals that affect stuff somehow. Ooh. Do you think if we 100% it, we unlock like, a, even another crystal? Like another? they're just... Yeah, like maybe like meth or something. Oh. Like, as a reward for completing it. I I wish. I mean, I've completed this game already though. And I'm afraid to Have you? Is, is it this video? Did did you complete it <laughs> no. recently, Zach? Oh my god. No, no, no. Is, is this the last episode? Is it gonna end in the library? Is it all yep. going down? Yep. You um, robbed the rich patron, then just retire? A, a good point, though. Um, Like, w what really is the main conflict going on right now? Ooh, um... I, I know we play it intermittently, but I feel like it's not exactly that clear. <laughs> uh, there's a mechanical bird person who mm -hmm. summoned a dragon at some point. Have not seen them in a while. Oh, there's yeah. the fat pirate fellow mm -hmm. who wanted you to, you know, do stuff for him. Does not seem like a great conflict, though. True. Um, you ran from guards... So, I think it's pretty much random companions sabotaging you occasionally. I guess so. You mean Belle? Just... Yeah, yeah. she's like, I'm Belle, I'm Belle. <laughs> Lale. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a pretty good impersonation. Have you ever considered voice acting, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I voice acted Lale, which is... Um, oh, did you really? Nice. Yeah. Wow, you should have said something. Yeah, you know I... Is that... I, I thought you, you would have it out sooner, but, uh, you know, I guess oh. I was just so into my job I, then that... I mean, yeah, you really yeah. got into character. Yeah, I was able to do a completely different voice from my own. It's great. Where I just sound like a total pansy all the time. 
I just thought you were wasting your sultry voice on our Let's Plays, but now I know that you're really putting it to good use. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. Hey, Zach, I, I don't mean to, like, freak out about, like, this whole voice acting thing. Mm -hmm. Could you say, hey, stop that one, one time as well? Just, just nice. Hey, stop that? Yeah, this is a classic whale line. Oh. Um, right? Hey, stop that. Oh, man. I, I got Spot goosebumps. On. Spot Ooh. on. And you know what? I can't wait to hear more about it in the next episode. Oh. Did you, did you see how smooth the transition was? Yeah, wow, that was amazing. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm good at this.